I really want to pull off that Awoken build or something. So I think that that's going to be the goal for today. Even if it doesn't work out great, worst comes to worst, we go for a strike build and see if I can just get quick multi-hit. I don't like these cards. One thing I've realized in this game is that healing sucks. Uh, let's just, let's mulligan until we get the good stuff. Okay, send spike channeler. Mm, eh, it's okay. Let's check the let's check the artifact before I just give up on this one. It's okay. Starting with three rages is, is good, but I we could do better than that. I don't like ritual of battle. I'm being very picky here, mainly because I keep losing, and oh. Okay, regardless, this is now worthwhile. We don't really want preserved thorns. But we have two Ritual of Battles, and uh, Thorns don't go away. So I tried the Rejuvenate build, and it didn't work. The Draw one ne didn't necessarily work either, but... We'll f I'll figure this out. Okay. Screw it. That's the worst that could happen, right? We need a unit banner. There's a specific dude that if I could get him, we're all good. And if we can't get him, I don't know. Okay, nice part is... I can at least torch them as they go up. Uh, let's just toss that guy there. Sacrificial lamb, get him out of the deck. Okay, you know what? The stings are actually going to be really helpful right now. Normally I'm pretty meh. On Sting. Whoops. Let's hold off on that one. We actually want to Rage. Because if Rage doesn't decay and I can apply a fair bit of Rage to my dudes, then that's what I should be doing. Probably should have been killing these guys with Thorns, but now I do a boatload of damage, so there's, there's the benefit. Okay, before I take a lot of damage, let's just hit all these guys. Yeah, this, this will work. There's the stings. Rage up. Uh, let's rage him. Sup? You've entered my, uh, my house of battle. Everything here is dangerous. So we're definitely going to want to clear the deck out. We want to find a good DPS. Somebody that does a lot of damage and has a decent amount of HP wouldn't be terrible. Uh, let's grab Ensnare. Ensnare is always good. We don't have any armor generation, and while Molting Imp would be interesting, it's not particularly great, so I'm going to skip it. Damn it! I saw the Demon Fiend and I'm like, <gasps> and it's not. He's an okay DPS. He's got a good start. You know, just the raw 30-30. It's powerful, but it's there's no scaling there. I'd, I'd honestly be better holding out for somebody with multi-hit. Which is a bit of a shame. Uh, let's see. So do we go for the... Hmm. Go for the money and the magic, or unit modification and hope for a good Hellhorn unit. Let's hope for the good Hellhorn unit. Because if we can get the Demon Fiend, I'm happy. Otherwise... We could get the Branded Warrior. This might be the first time where the Branded Warrior really sings. We'd have to get a multi-hit, but that's doable. So let's let's make him chonky. Do you want to go for the... Yeah, 15 HP is probably good enough. Let's just make him as spooky as possible, because Demon Fiend is good, but if we don't have Rage Loss, he is a full team-wide buff. Uh, let's see. Enter with armor 6. I don't know if that's... It's probably a bad idea, but whatever. Okay. Oh, right. They start with armor. I'm going to ensnare him. We don't have room for the Wildwood uh, Custodian, which is a bit of a shame. Okay. 
Let's get that down. This might be a bit messy. But we get Rage Gen. So this should work. Okay. So do we just do Ritual of Battle? Run through them faster. Get another Wildwood Custodian. We need some spikes. So we're going to take some damage here. But it's not too bad. There's the boss already. Alright, so... I guess in retrospect, root her. Do some damage to this guy. And unfortunately, I'm probably going to want to spend most of my energy just healing. We have an okay DPS, we just have to wait. Alright, that should be good. So yeah, I'm just going to focus on making my, my frontliner properly frontline. And I'm going to work on him having rage gen. Hopefully this will work. And if we can get any of the artifacts that increase... Uh, that's really good, actually. I go for the Eternal Imp, but he's not gonna fit. Also, uh, thank you, Reaperth29, for the two-month resub. Hey, two months. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Verisoc, for the 500 bits. Uh, let's see. Good at afternoon, everybody. I am playing uh, the game that I've been playing for this entire week. I am very hooked, and that's okay. So, don't want to bother with a steel worker. He is virtually pointless for this build. So, I'm going to skip him. He would be good, but we've already got what we need. So, now it's just a matter of making it sing. Let's go for the Merchant of Magic and see what we can buff. Well, there's Holdover. I forgot I'm poor. It's fine. Uh, we've got some things to remove anyway. So we'll at least remove the torches. I could have upped something. I guess some magic power might not have been a terrible idea. Uh, let's get the Priory's Cloak. Let's see, Holdover redraws if you play it. I'm very aware. I'm just also very poor. Hello, this is a new one. Makes his way through an abandoned train yard. The once bustling workshop is now eerily silent and empty. Picked over by scavengers. Through the rubble, you're able to make out a couple of things that may be useful. A large hook and some quick release doors. Trap shoot consumed to send a unit to the bottom floor. So drag somebody... Pulley Claw seems really good. The hook is installed in the Bone Shaker's Pyre Room, giving you an easy way to drag any invaders upwards and subject them to the power of the pyre. So that would just instantly give one thing, more or less. There are very few things that'll live long enough. I like that. There needs to be some more uh, cool events like that. But yeah, they get hit by the, the core three times. Which means I should have actually gone for the upgrade that makes it so my pyre does more damage, but whatever. Uh, a little late for that one now. Okay, do we grab the preserved thorns? We could. Uh, make it so she does damage. Grab the preserved thorns, because I would actually like to kill two of these guys. And then we'll just hit him. Okay, so do I have anything fancy here? No, I don't. Uh, let's see. Put him there. He'll get... He'll get demolished. 
Put a train steward down, another wildwood custodian. We'll live for a round, but not too much. There we go. Rage generation's in full effects, which is exactly what I was kind of looking for. The thing we need to do is make him quick and have multi-strike. If we can do both, oh boy. Uh, let's see. I'll grab one of those boys. So... I guess we'll go for the armor, the buff. Who do we hit? We'll hit that guy. And then I think we just wait. So this is... I, I've actually been really wanting to do this build for a while. Uh, very specifically a, a rage generation using this guy, but it's just always never quite worked. Uh, okay, there we go. Now they both die. Yeah, it's never quite worked in my in my build. He always ended up being very weak, and he didn't really get the. Uh, he didn't really do enough damage to mess him up. Uh, let's see. Let's hold the healer back. In flame. Uh, let's see. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to use steel on an enhancer on my my main guy. And we're we're all good. Okay, what do we do? Realistically, should probably heal. But I'm going to err on the side of dumb and just go for dang bitch. Kill that guy because he doesn't do anything. Uh, or he's not going to result in any further buffs for me. And we're good. Okay, I, I think we might actually be able to pull off this, this build twice over. Normally I have problems getting the draw build to work. But having just a massive HP pool seems like a good plan. Realistically, we need the extra energy. Ascend would be interesting. Or extra capacity would be interesting, but I'd almost rather have an ascend. But even then, I'd rather focus on getting my... Oh, well, there's the freaking Alpha Fiend. But he just... I don't think he fits on this one. It's halfway tempting to try and pick up an Animus of Speed, and then getting it so it shifts to the next floor. Not the Vine Mother, she's garbage. Sting is useful for the first, like, three, four zones, and then after that, Sting is kind of pointless. It's like pissing on a fire. I guess it'll get rid of some of the trash mobs, but that's not really that helpful. So the question is, do I want to try and fit an Animus of Speed up top? It would certainly benefit the most. I, I'm going to risk it, see if we can get an Ascend or a Descend. Because uh, if we could get either of those, then we're in a golden position. Uh, let's see. So we want to go for the Purge Gate. So we want to get rid of some things. I'll hold on to the preserved, preserved stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of a Restore. And this. Uh, let's see. Claw works on your guys, too? No, it doesn't. Sadly. Okay, there's Holdover. Alright, I'm gonna... Okay. Returns to hand next turn if played. Oh, that's a tough one. So, Steel Enhancer is the usual one that I go for. Just because I can make it free. In Flame seems like it might be the smarter idea. No, I don't... I don't want Ensnare. I want one of the... I want one of the two. Yeah, Inflame is better. My main thing is, casting Inflame every round would mean I pretty much would not be able to use Ritual Battle very often. But yeah, it is the saner option. You really want me to get this Alpha Fiend? If we can get a send, I'll go for it. I, I don't really know. Okay, enemies gain spikes three. That's spooky. 
I'm gonna skip it in this case. These guys hurt. These guys suck. We don't- we don't want the extra danger. Well, this is convenient. Let's see, a raging, but I'm gonna give him quick. That way he gets the kill more often. And since I don't have an ascend, I'm just gonna toss her down there to die. Because there's- there's no way I'd be able to make her work. Okay, let's get the Rage. We need the bonus damage. Okay. So this sucks a bit. So, here's the issue. We're gonna have a tank man. Well, he's getting through anyway. And he's gonna take almost all of his HP in battle. So let's just buff him up. And wait. Unfortunately, this sting screwed me over a little bit. But it'll be okay. There we go. Let me think on this one. I'm gonna ensnare that guy. I'm gonna steal pulley claw that guy. I'm going to torch that person. We lose the inflame, but I'll live. Put them there. Uh, let's see. And we will just wait. There we go. I'm digging Steel Pulley Claw. It's got potential. Oh, he actually killed that guy. Right, whatever. It's fine. Gives me time. Okay. We're gonna ensnare that guy. We're gonna Ritual of Battle. There we go. Oh, we didn't get the rage bonus. What is, whatever, it's fine. Okay, so there's the boss. I'm just gonna dump every sting onto it. We really need to work on buffing my frontliner. Oh! Balls! I forgot we have the thing that hurts with heals, and, well, it's fine. Because healing at this point would be a mistake. We could have killed him. And then I kept casting spells like a dingus. Uh, let's see. Well, this sucks. We're gonna take some extra damage as a result. Yeah, we just did not scale... Uh, we did not scale my, my damage guy nearly hard enough. Okay, so we do have Restoring Retreat, which means I could start stacking a midline, which is good. Uh, we have a little bit of armor, but I don't really know if Battering Ram is worth it. Inferno would be interesting, because I'd never touch the bottom. But I don't want it, because I need those kills. Hopefully I can get multi-hit at some point. Okay, so we could keep purging and going for magic. Go over here, get money, get an artifact, and dupe a thing. What, I, what would I do? I don't know what I would dupe. That's the problem. I could see myself duping something later and it would work. The problem is going for the Merchant of Magic would be a mistake. Yeah, it's like I could dupe Polyclaw. I could dupe 
the uh Wildwood Tome. with that. I like Light's Gift. That's a good one. Let's dupe the Wildwood Tome. There are very few situations where that isn't actually really good. And we don't want the spikes. We just want raw HP total. Sucks a little bit because I do not have good healing. Uh, but that's okay. And this is fine. Fine-ish. Fine adjacent. Because these guys are weak. They don't have the bonus damage. Oh, we have Descent. So in retrospect, Light's Gift might not be the most useful. But that's fine. Get this. I'm gonna sting one of them to death. Alright, put her there. We have that, but that doesn't do me any good. Okay. Ooh, that's spooky. Or is it? Okay, so we did actually take some damage there. Okay, they're dazed. They're ensnared. Everything is kind of good. Okay, I gotta buff his damage. We're gonna ensnare one of them. There's the Wildwood Tome that I'm looking for. With the other Wildwood Custodian. And let's start dumping... Train stewards there. Okay, so this should work. So at this point, we might actually want to start uh, racking up some just DPS characters. Because I got strats. So she's there now. We can inflame probably the tank, just, just so. Let's instare that guy. Because he's inconvenient. And do we sting? I will sting that man because it does nothing. But yeah, so now we've got Rage Gen on the entire mid lane. Which is good. We can inflame. He will kill. Let's buff him a bit. Sting this guy a couple of times. Give him a train steward who he's not going to be able to kill. Alright, there's the Rage Gen. This should be good. Let's see. So we're going to inflame up. We don't really have too much else I can do. I'll sting him. And I'm going to keep enhancing for the multi-strike, because I think that's more useful. That should work. Okay. It's not as fast of rage gen as, like, some of the other ones that I've had, but that's okay. Uh, let's ensnare that guy. Go for the multi-hit. Hit the boss, hit the boss, and they're not even going to be able to take out my meat wall. Alright! This works. So, yeah. Now all we want to do is just pack a bunch of dudes that I could potentially, uh... Somebody with sweep might not be a terrible idea. The the sweep slay critter. critter. Uh, but just a bunch of guys in the mid, mid tier. As long as my, my rage stacker gets a, a kill here and there. Uh, it's grabbing graft, I guess? Short Channeler is useless to me. Uh, let's see. Do I want Reinforce? I'll grab Reinforce. There's very few situations where that's not useful, especially if I can get rid of the Consume and make it cheaper-ish. Okay, we have the Merchant of Steel. Pyro Remains, which wouldn't be a bad idea. Otherwise, we could dupe another thing. What would, would I dupe? I guess the really silly thing would be dupe a branded warrior.
Grab wing clippings. Probably should have just gone for the money, but whatever. Which is this one? Ooh, chaos. Merged card, gain a card. All right, let's get rid of the one of the train steward. Train stewards? No, 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 no. I should I should get rid of one of the restores. Random Hellhorn card, random Awoken card. Let's go for Awoken Rare card. Channel Song. That's actually kind of exactly what I could use. The only problem is I, I really wish there were actually cards that you could uh, you could always have in your starting hand or something like that. I know Slay the Spire had that, and it was amazing. Okay, so this one adds Scourge cards to my deck, which sucks. Because now we got to ask ourselves... How do I want to deal with this? Okay, I'm just going to do that. He'll do a little bit of damage. We need to kill that middle one. Okay. Preserved Thorns. Does not let me do too much here. Get rid of those. Let's drop the Branded Warrior there. I'll just let him do his thing. Okay, here's the question. I will never be able to get it... Okay. I hate those guys. We're gonna have to probably take some fire damage here. Yup. Gonna have to take some fire damage here. Now, let's put down the Animus of Speed. Let's ensnare one of these guys. Okay, they both die. So we want to get rid of as many self-mutilations as we possibly can. There we go. So the multi-hit was good. We had to get rid of those guys. And we've got the Rage Gen rolling. Okay, unfortunately, Channel Song, not super helpful, given the situation. I am going to do... Going to get rid of him. Haste him up. We do have Restoring Retreat, which sucks, because I kind of needed it. Uh, or kind of wanted it in this situation, but whatever. Okay. Let's see what I can do about this. So, first and foremost, I will make him swift. We'll grab the, the weight. Heal for a smidge. And then I'm just going to dump a train steward. Who is about as useless as possible, but that's fine. Now all we need is the artifact that makes it so demons have multi-hit. And then this becomes goofy. Okay. Do we do preserved thorns? We have to get rid of self-mutilation. I guess I'll do preserved thorns. Uh, let's see. Pop a Wild Wood Custodian behind him. Probably should have been doing that this entire time. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill him. Well, at least the top two are bottom feeding some extra damage here. Alright, there's Restoring Retreat. Only problem is I kind of want to want them to be on this floor. Also, y'all suck. All right. I'm just going to root him. Oh, God damn it. Get rid of both of those. He's gonna die. The other guy will not. Uh, well, this... kind of didn't go great. We'll see what I can get. 
At least we get a little bit of the rage. But yeah, the problem is if uh, if my rage gen guys can't actually kill anything, it puts me in a, a bit of a bad spot. That's in graft. We get a steel enhancer, which I guess is kind of good. My best bet, honestly, is just to right the middle row off and hope that top guys can actually just kill him instead. Okay. Get rid of that. We'll just inflame. I mean, we win, which is kind of nice. We did not stack this row as much as we wanted. So yeah, we absolutely need better energy gen. But honestly, the main issue is just the uh, the freaking uh, debuffs were stacking up too much. Gotta go for the energy, though. Uh, let's see. And let's go for Unleash the Wildwood, probably. Another Wildwood Tome would be nice, but I don't actually want to put it on my, my multi-hitter. I mean, useful to do so, but not necessary. Uh, let's go this way. Herzl's Horde, gain an artifact. We're going for something. Friendly units gain extra HP. It's not actually that helpful. So let's go Cleansing Water. Come on, demons get multi-strike. God. Alright. Guess it'll just purge. I don't think we want any of the rest of these. I really want that Demons Get Multi-Strike. Because if I can get that, we are in the money. How much do I hate myself? A lot. We're gonna... No risk, no reward. I have full heal. Main issue is this guy hits like trucks, and that sucks. Is my fire? Uh, get out of here. That's one solution. Okay, so we still took some damage there, but it gives me something. All right, branded warrior down. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I guess the, this leaves something to be desired of my organizational skills, but I, we'll figure it out. Okay. There's Restoring Retreat. There's Wildwood Tome. He's now quick. Uh, I'm going to ensnare one of these guys. I'll ensnare him. Preserve Tome. I should probably get rid of those. Yeah, so we don't quite have the damage that we're looking for. It sucks. Alright, I'll make it work. Let's see. Put him down. He will actually net the kill, so I might want to hold off on putting him further down. Only get him himself some rage, but still would be good. Okay. Let's sting. Train steward. Wish I had more energy. Well, at least we get the full heal soon. Alright. There. Now everybody gets the rage, kind of. Not perfect. Okay. Start with... Get rid of the stings. 
heal up. Okay, so that'll mess them up. I still have the steel pulley claw. Oh, right. Because I duped it. Okay. You want to just steal pulley claw? Go for a bit of rage. The unfortunate thing is, he's not actually going to be able to get the kill, is he? I almost should have steel pulley clawed that guy, in retrospect. Maybe the top guy. Because he did some damage. Okay. We need to do some damage. Okay. That'll get that'll get me the rage. Ensnare him so he doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, so we're gaining the we're gaining rage slowly. The main problem is just a lot of these enemies are very tanky. Makes it really difficult to actually pull off what I'm looking for. Okay. Well, one of the one of the two fast boys should be able to he he is quick, right? Yes. So one of the two fast boys should be able to take him out, no problem. I guess I will engraft. Because we kind of need it. I think if I want to get rid of the stings, they're actually more deck bloat than they're worth. Let's ensnare. Make her fast. Channel Song ain't gonna do anything. Heal back up to full, and we are golden. Could steal Polycloth, but that would be silly and pointless. And in retrospect, doubling the armor wasn't so great either. Also, thank you, Negagumi, for the three month resub. Bit overkill. There's no such thing as overkill. That is a lie. Okay, ooh, Cursed Vines. Actually, that's kind of incredible for what I'm trying to do here. Uh, let's grab and graft. And branding right. There's the armor generation that I was looking for. I just need more energy. Uh, let's go this way. We need the de demons give multi-strike. Units cost less. I'll take that. And we don't need it, but it's really helpful. Friendly units enter with Rage 3, and let's get the... All of them. All of those are really helpful. Okay, uh, let's see. So I'm probably going to get rid of Preserved Thorns. Sting is kind of nice, but... It doesn't really make a huge difference. And let's get rid of one of the Restores. Now Reinforce is actually worth something. Uh, so we're good. Also, thank you, Leo Hawk, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Revenge draw 150 HP. Whoo boy. Oh, it's boss time, so we don't get the multi-hit. Whoo, that gets this gets dodgy. Good thing we got that bonus rage too, because all my guys start weak. Which is butts. Okay, I actually have to put the Animus of Speed there. Let's put the Train Steward down. Same thing with the Wildwood Custodian. Uh, it's deep. I will give her the Rage. We might have some conundrums. We will see. God damn it. Um... Oh! Why did I do that? I could have actually stacked two of them on the same floor. Uh... Okay, that didn't do anything. Firebot is tired. I just 
I wasn't braining. That's my usual excuse, but I just... Whoops. Okay, so there's the Wild Blood Tome. Uh, let's see what else we have. Not the greatest. I'm going to keep putting him down. Let's do... Branding right. Ensnare. Wildwood Custodian. And Inflame. Might as well start stacking some armor there. He's going to take some damage, but it's not going to be so bad. We'll take out a couple of them. Okay, so the boss has Sap. Awkward. Let's see. Him first, obviously. And snare that guy. Let's do the silly thing. Bring her down. And up her rage. Not enough. Damn it. Alright, whatever. So he gets some extra rage. Not quite the perfect... setup. That's okay. So we don't have the thing to move anybody down. Uh, let's see. We do have the steel pulley claw. Yeah, I actually doubled. I, I've, I've made some iffy decisions here. Uh, let's see. Well, in that case, I guess I'm just going to steel pulley claw that guy. And we'll inflame for some extra armor. Heal, I guess, doesn't really help. Let's see, can you infinitely put everyone on the same floor with the descent card? No, there there is a hard cap. Okay. For better or worse, I'm going to move him down. We have Ensnare. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to do too much with that, but that's okay. He's going to get the first kill. Yeah, just lacking that multi-strike is kind of rough. On my demons. So we'll take a little a smidge of core damage, I think. But it is, it is what it is. Oh, hey. Idea. Bad idea time. There we go. Bad ideas. Good solutions. Keep working on that. Uh, let's see. If I restored, that would actually mess, mess me up kind of bad. So, yeah. He's going to go to the top floor, but he didn't do any dam damage anyway. So, like, nobody gives a dang. Okay, next up, I'm going to just steal Pulley Claw him up. We'll take a bit of damage. Worst things have happened. So then, this gets... Iffy. I'm just going to boost her. Okay, so we win. I RNG could have worked a little bit better in my favor, and I probably could have picked some less cards. The Branding ri Ritual was okay. Doubling my armor was not. It... Turned out that didn't that wasn't as useful. And I don't think having double rage stacking demons was actually worth it. I mean, it probably saved me here at just having the extra dudes. Like, I see where this strategy works, and I think it could work really well uh, with like another pass or two and a little bit of luck. Uh, but one way or another, we did win. I just I feel like I could have done 
one or two things to improve it, and it would have been so much more kick-ass. Like, I have that taste for the insane imp runs, and I'm like, I want more of that. But whatever, it's okay. Steel Polyclaw. Hell yeah.